Thorsmok, or in English, Thors Valley, is a mountain ridge and nature reserve in the southern Icelandic highlands. Thorsmok offers breathtaking views over the complex river networks in the low-lying valleys that you can discover from the top of the mountains on which many hiking trails will lead you. Reaching Thorsma is an adventure in itself, as there will be a lot of river crossing before reaching one of the campgrounds. You cannot go there with a regular car, and even with a four-wheel drive you will need some solid nerves and stay patient and careful. Taking your time, studying the flow and the depth of each river is essential. If you don't want to get stuck in a riverbed. Remember that no rental car insurance will cover the damage caused by river crossings. So the best is to think twice before heading forwards. Almost every day cars remain stuck in riverbeds here. If you don't want to take the risk, there are several other ways to reach your destination. You can call the campground and someone can come to pick you up. Buses run on a regular basis and will also bring you there. They are probably the safest way to cross the last deep river called Crossar. Watching horses during the Roundup, a traditional ancient rite in which farmers gather sheep and horses out of the mountains, can be an uplifting observation first looking for the best path to enter the river, always going downstream at the deepest part and the strongest current, and the best way out. But even horses can be as stupid as humans. And some run straight into big troubles without thinking. I'm an experienced driver, but I decided to call the campground for the most challenging river crossing because I didn't want to waste a car, my money, or my holidays. We just arrived in Thorsmork. That's a place I wanted to visit from a long time. I hope the weather will be okay, so I'll show you some nice pictures of this place. But before, let me introduce our camping. We are, at this time, we are absolutely alone. There's nobody else here, so we set up our tent right now. And just in case if it's uh, raining or too much wind, we have the choice with uh, uh, other houses. This one, I think, it will, will not be okay. But we have two others. Uh, a troll house and a sauna, just in case if, if it's cold outside. We can take a, a sauna right there. Beautiful place and I hope we will en enjoy this two days trip. Hoping to catch some good light over great, great sceneries. Thorsmark is a hiking paradise. There are endless routes and trails to explore and each one will bring you at a different mind-blowing viewpoint. We started with one of the most easiest hike, starting right at the campground. Walking first through a small forest, the trail starts to get steeper and steeper until the top of the mountain. But the biggest challenges are the ever-changing weather conditions. Within one hour, we experienced rain, snow, hail, strong winds and sun, the famous Icelandic Four Seasons Day. The next morning I had one of the most insane experiences of the trip. 
After a strong hailstorm, I was on the point to give up and hike back to the campground as I was frozen and wet. Suddenly, sun rays appeared through the black storm clouds and lit the whole scenery and I managed to capture one of my all-time favorite photographs. But I was overwhelmed by the emotions created by this strong light show. After that amazing moment, the sun warmed up my body and soul. There are so many viewpoints in so many different light conditions that I could stay here weeks to take photographs. Driving back from Thorsmark, I had all these great memories in my head and I was already dreaming about the next time I would come back to this out-of-the-world location.